Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Muzian. I'm a specialist orthodontist. I'm also an honorary lecturer at the University of Sydney and honorary research fellow at the University of Edinburgh. Today, I'm going to talk to you about active reminders in orthodontics. So what's active reminders? Well, active reminder include the use of letter in order to remind the patient about specific action, about their attendance, uh, using their appliances, and also the use of automated phone call, SMS message, or even an app. We recently undertook a study which has been published at the European Journal of Orthodontics. In this study, we tried to answer the question whether the use of reminders improve oral hygiene and adherence to orthodontic appointments, as well as improve other outcome during orthodontic treatments. So what we did? Well, first of all, we registered our systematic review with the Prospero, and we follow a Cochrane guidelines, and we set a specific eligibility criteria for the future included randomized controlled trials. According to hand and braille literature searching, as well as electronic database searching in one of the main electronic databases, we found that there is 523 study which could meet our eligibility criteria. However, after full text uh, ex examination of these RCTs or these studies, we found that there is only 14 RCTs met our strict eligibility criteria. Using Rob Cochrane risk of bias tool, we found that there is three RCT which has a low risk of bias, while the rest of RCT has some concern and any clear risk of bias. In terms of gingival score in short term, we found that the use of reminder therapy significantly improved the gingival health on short term. In terms of plaque score, again, the use of reminder therapy improved uh, plaque score significantly compared to control. So in, in summary, in short term, we found that the use of reminder therapy provide a better gingival health in orthodontic patients. What about the long-term effect? Similarly, we found that the plaque score significantly less in the reminder therapy group, and also the gingival score was significantly better than those who have no reminder therapy. So in summary, we found that there is a better gingival health on long-term in those who have been treated or who have been included in the intervention arm of the study, which means the use of reminder therapies. In terms of attendance and missing appointments in orthodontic practice, we found that the use of reminder therapy significantly reduced the DNA or do not show appointment or failed appointments. Hence, the use of reminder therapy will improve the patient attendance in orthodontic practices. In terms of the white spot lesion, which is one of the serious iatrogenic effects of any orthodontic treatments, we found that the use of reminder therapy significantly reduced the development of white spot lesion. And this is mainly because the uh, th treatment duration and number of failed appointments reduced as a result of the use of reminder therapy. So in conclusion, we found that the use of reminder therapy will reduce the risk of development of white spot lesions. We couldn't undertook a meta-analysis to assess the effect of reminder therapy on total treatment duration. However, one of the included RCT found that the use of reminder therapy uh, reduced the, the treatment duration by around seven weeks, which is almost two months. And also the bracket failure uh, rate was actually 4% less in the reminder therapy compared to control. And this is because, again, due to the uh, reduced uh, reduce rate of missing appointments and the close observation of the patient's treatment progress. So in summary of evidence, uh, there's a moderate quality of evidence suggesting that reminder therapy improved the oral hygiene and adherence to the appointments in orthodontic patients. And this result is actually in short and long-term uh, effects. However, our suggestion is to undertake a high quality randomized clinical trials with a longer follow-up period.
Thank you so much for your listening. Please feel free to invite your friend to join our discussion or volunteer group. Have a great day.